Next question is from Tyler Mick Nutrition. Do you find a lot of people are OV overdoing it with diet and exercise? I see a lot of people doing twice a day workouts, extreme dieting or fasting, HIT, etc., or a combination of multiple things. I don't think they're taking into account other stresses in their lives, which can lead to some of these additions being negative. Yeah, of course we believe yeah, this. We uh, we always bring this up. Yeah, yeah. I, everybody overdoes it. For and I, here's here's what I mean by that. I don't mean everybody works out too much all the time. I mean. People that stop working out and are inconsistent, usually when they start, they overdo it. Yeah. Now, overdoing it's different from person to person. Overdoing it can mean you overdo it for what your body can handle. It could also mean you're overdoing it because you're doing more than you'll be able to maintain on a consistent basis. So if, you're never, if you never exercise or you have it for a long time, I used to get this all the time. I'd manage gyms and I'd you know, get a, a, a walk-in. This is somebody that's interested in, in checking out the gym. And I'd ask them what their goals are and, you know, are you currently exercising? No, I'm not. When was the last time you exercised consistently, like for longer than six months? Oh, you know, 10 years ago. How many days a week do you would you like to start working out? Oh, I'd like to come five days a week. Like overdoing it. Like you, you're going to go from zero to five. Even if you train properly five days a week, it's, it's too much for you to go from zero to five and to maintain consistency. So... It's the whole, like, I want to get there faster. Overdoing it literally means you'll yeah. get there slower. It's human nature. I mean, yeah. we want to get to that desired outcome as quick as possible. And, uh, you know, our entire culture is based off of that, right? It's like, well, how can I get rich faster? Yeah. How can I uh, achieve whatever goal I have the quickest way possible? Mm -hmm. And it's just, there's no pill to this thing to really like accelerate that process. Like you just really have to put the work in. Well, I'll give you guys a, a less extreme and I think more common situation of overdoing it that I think most people fall into this trap. And that's just simply eating, uh, eating less and moving. It's the, it's like the most practical uh, advice given to somebody who is overweight. Oh, you're overweight. Well, eat less calories and move more. And because of that simple advice, what ends up happening is somebody ends up eating way less than what they probably should for their size and body. And certainly for somebody who's going to go start building muscle and then they overdo the amount of movement. Somebody yeah. who was completely sedentary on the couch, wasn't doing anything is all of a sudden doing CrossFit workouts or yeah. all of a sudden working out like you guys are saying five to seven days a week. So I think it's way more common than not. And, you know, a lot of that is just because the messaging that's been around in the fitness space forever. We we always tout the law of thermodynamics and everybody says, okay, they just simp oversimplify that. Okay, well, less calories, move more, I should lose weight. Well, yeah, yeah you can, but you Let's have to do no all of it together. You're overdoing it. You don't need to be doing that. I mean, everybody that I get, if that was overweight, you know, later on in my career, I figured out like actually what I should do is either keep them at a maintenance or even try and give them a surplus and actually focus on building muscle. Even though they came to me to lose 50 pounds of fat, I knew that where they were at nutritionally, what they were feeding their body, they were they're under they're overfeeding it in calories, underfeeding it in nutrients that their body needs in order to have this healthy physique. Mm -hmm. So getting them balanced out and keeping them fed while also now introducing this new stimulus was a much better strategy. And you just don't see that. You see most people overdoing the exercise, and that doesn't need to be a lot, and then under-consuming. Yeah, it, the, the right dose will get you there faster and will make it sustainable. Doing more than that is the wrong dose. Doing less than that is also the wrong dose. By the way, if I had to pick which one I would want a person to, if they had to go over or under doing it, I would say under doing it because yeah. then it's easy to ramp then you up. you can build it up. Overdoing it, it's hard to, to back off of. It's interesting, right, because I think people think – that the most that they can tolerate is the right dose. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, I'm getting great results right now. I think my body can tolerate even more. Let me do that. That's still not the right dose because I know that there's more I can do with my training that my body will tolerate, but it's not going to get me there any faster. It'd be like going to the doctor and the doctor saying, you have an infection, here's your medication, take two a day, and you're like, I want to get this infection gone. <laughs> take well, a whole yeah. bottle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not, yeah, yeah. What'll happen, right? I think of like like hard alcohol, you know, versus like a, a sip of wine or beer or something. It's like, you know, you give somebody like a shot, like, oh, I'm, I'm going to introduce myself to alcohol. And then you just go right to like, you know, the, the most condensed version of everything yeah. at once. How every college kid yeah. drinks when yeah. they first <laughs> You know what that leads to? I just want to get drunk real fast. <laughs>